Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'll explain how to convert a data frame with a date column to a time series object. So in this video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 7 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame by running line 8 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame consists of two columns, a date column and a column that is consisting of some values. We can also check the class of our data frame by using the class function as you can see in line 10 of the code. And if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example data has the data frame class. Now let's assume that we want to convert this data frame to a time series object. Then we first have to modify our date column as you can see in line 13 of the code by using the sdate function. So in this line of code, we are basically telling R that our column that is consisting the dates is a date. So in this line of code, we are converting our column that is containing the dates from the character string class to the date class. So after running this line of code, our data is updated. However, at this point, our data is still a data frame. So if we want to convert our data frame to a time series object, we also need to install and load the XTS package, as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the XTS function, as you can see in line 18. So in this line of code, I'm specifying within the XTS function the column that is consisting of our values and the column that is consisting of our dates. And then I'm storing the output of the XTS function in a new data object which is called data TS. So if you run this line of code you will see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object appears which is called data TS. And we can also have a look at this data by running line 19 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the structure of our data has changed. And we can also check the class of this new data object by running line 21 of the code. And then you can see that the new class is XTS or SU. So in other words, our final data object is a time series object to which you can apply the typical methods that you would use for time series objects. So in this video, I have shown you how to convert a data frame to a time series object in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.